All right, guys, welcome, welcome back to Kamisha Reviews. Hit that like button and subscribe. Have you joined the membership yet? What are you guys waiting for? All right, guys, also, super thanks, super chats. Hit that cash app. Oh, yes, I said it again. Why not advertise myself? I am a business. I am that brand. Support content creators. We need the love, baby. With that being said, get your drink poured or whatever you got to do because you know we're going to throw shade and a whole lot of laughs is going to happen. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, guys. Welcome, welcome back to Kamisha Reviews. The queen of reality TV, period. Okay, point blank. So I have somebody in the background that I've been uh, talking to uh, by getting up here to have a conversation. Um, of course, we know we had the premiere already. And of course, y'all know me and the panel, we cut up when we talk about the show because we're fans of it and also because we are bloggers this is what we do. Especially when the people of color on these shows, y'all know that I pay attention heavy to those type of shows. So that being said, I want to bring the king up Okay, uh, Dunbar up to the stage, and you guys, welcome in. Uh, be good in the chat. You know the things are the thing. Welcome, welcome to the stage. What's going on, King? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> happy, yeah. happy, beautiful day. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yes, so happy to have you here. Uh, Point Blank period. This is all, um, I'm not going to say new. I don't know how new the CEO getting to that, but with this type of situation as far as um, reality TV, it, it, it can be a lot. It can be a lot. Okay, I'm just being, being honest with you. It can be a lot. So let's go ahead and get started with the questions. Because the queen is not sitting next to you, but that's okay. We're still going to push through. Um, oh, yeah. This show has been on for a few seasons. And, you know, some of the fans do not believe in this process because it's a very unconventional situation to you have a relationship problem to date other people. It's still crazy, even after all this time. Um, what made you say yes to the show? Well, uh, of course, I've probably never seen the show. Probably won't. I didn't even know it existed until I was on there. Uh, but when me and Chance talked about it, when she introduced me to the show, I said, well, what's the show about? She said it's about three couples going to counseling, being able to speak, sit down and uh, just kind of just, you know, bounce off of each other and uh, just trying to see if you can make it or take it to the next step. Is this worth it? Is this willing to do? And so when I realized that it was produced by, of course, the great Will Packer and on right, uh, right. on the uh, uh, the Oprah uh, network, I mm -hmm. definitely want to have an opportunity to see, uh, you know, uh, you know, just what they have to offer and just uh, just experience the whole deal. So. Uh, prior to the show, I never seen the show, but when they told me they had some counseling, some women, and some other couples, I took the opportunity to just to see how I fit in with the rest of the group. Uh, did you know about the doctor chain? Well, the thing I, I guess is kind of different now. You said you didn't watch the show, yeah. so did you know she was the original, not the original? Since you didn't watch the show, they have didn't know much information about it. Because for us as fans, it it took us by surprise. Well, just like everything, you guys, uh, you see our reaction. Uh, this is the first time we actually saw it. Uh, when I walked in there and I when I heard the doctor's story, I immediately, that's why you saw my face. I'm like, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was uh, definitely uh, took him by surprise. Uh, and, you know, and, um, you know, Dr. Stacy, I think she did her thing. She was there for the reason, uh, the reason why she was there. But when it came to me, what what I was trying to accomplish uh, you know, it was it was more dramatic or entertaining than anything for me. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm looking for more of the stability. Uh, you know, I, I I went to school for psychology, so I know the importance mm -hmm. of just listening to a person, and then uh, not being comes to a different point of view because we all don't know. You know, I know I don't know what it feels like to be a woman, and she doesn't know what it feels like to be a man. So, hundred percent, hundred percent. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Okay, so with because with bringing that up, when you say that, it sounds like you're. I don't want to put words in your mouth that you were trying to be serious about the process, but the things were a little more dramatic or for TV. But pretty much, you just were trying to get something real going on with your situation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's reality TV. Anytime. I mean, just imagine everything tape edited or put out. Uh, you know, it was new to me, uh, and so. But I think I think for the most part. Uh, they they got what they needed. The the people have a right to see what they see, and uh, you know, uh, me and Chance are just loving this opportunity. Uh, we like the comments, but again, I want people to always, you know, just know the person. I don't think they did a good job of explaining to what I was. They just said the football player. 
I mean, <laughs> uh, I wish they would have went more into detail. Okay, living. I think I broke for a second. Uh, I and you know, hit that storyline. Uh, okay. But when it comes to, I mean, what you guys saw, uh, we're seeing this for the first time, uh, just like you. So, um, there was a lot of, uh, mm -hmm. to be funny, not to be, uh, to be fair, and I know about it because I covered it. A lot of controversy in the past when it comes to put a ring on it. I know you said you didn't watch the show, but a lot of those storylines were headlines when put a ring on it um, came out, yeah. and it was the whole thing with the whatever that that you know people having affairs stuff like that so it, to me i would always say that that would maybe deter another man to want to did because to me that was a lot that, that man had to deal with that woman had to deal with on the show so yeah. did you know anything about any of that well um you know uh that comes with the territory just imagine you have to allow somebody into your house you mm -hmm. got to give them access to your to your to your significant other uh and then people can pray out for what situation you were going through uh somebody can pray out for that so infidelity uh and people cheating is already hard just imagine when somebody has the firepower uh to come in and do one thing and that's take your woman or take your man uh oh, so yeah. so that show really really showed the strength of all of the couples on the on the show uh put it in an ideal situation could you imagine just an ideal situation where okay we're in the get we're together we're talking about getting married but let me go on a couple <laughs> uh yeah. to make it right yeah so um uh you know for each his own <laughs> yes yes yeah. um did this show bring you guys closer together and i say that because we don't know yeah. we only see what we see on tv and, and right. wonder that did the show what was the question again did the show bring y'all closer oh of course yeah man I mean, we went in strong uh, when I met Chance, uh, she was just getting out of a relationship and I was on my way out of the country. I was on my way to travel. I was on my way to Puerto Rico and to do my, uh, my, my, my foreign, my foreign business. And so when we met each other, we immediately had to be with each other. Our first date was at the hospital. You know, she kept complaining about her stomach was hurting. I was like, stomach hurting? You know, I'm like, okay. So I go and buy her some Pepto, Pepto Bismol and all of that stuff. And then she said, no, it's hurting bad. So mm. we ate. Down. And then she said, I am hurting, like crying. So I'm like, what do I do? You know, if you call the ambulance, they're going to charge you. So I literally took her to the hospital. Uh, and when I took her to the hospital, I think that pain just was hitting hard, hard, hard. Uh, and so I literally, like she said, I had to run in, go get the wheelchair, run back out, park the car, get into the hospital. And then from there, uh, after her surgery, uh, I had a I had a big meeting in, in California. So she rode with me. We've been together ever since. So yeah, yeah, it did bring us stronger. We 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 went through every situation you could have within the first six months. And so when you put that type of time and energy into a person, uh, you really start saying, What is this? What are we doing? Are we really, really gonna do this or are we gonna keep playing? You know, and so that's where me and Chance was that's where we were at at the show. Okay. Um if you had any people like your boys came to you that um, was in the same position, maybe not exactly, obviously, no situations are alike, but mm -hmm. they were having some issues in their relationship. Um, and they came to you, um, the, the opportunity came to them to get on the show. Right. Like next season. Would you recommend it or would you not? Well, it, it, it depends on what they go for. Uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the good thing about the show is you have three different couples. All right, you get to see yourself in each situation. Maybe yours might not be theirs, but you can learn from one counseling to the one-on-one -on -one counseling at the end. You guys, I think they'll air my one-on-one -on -one to this Friday, so definitely watch that one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, just that one-on-one, -on -one, you can open up and you can really explain why you are in the situation you're in. Uh, black and brown men or black and brown women, we don't go to counseling. All right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we wasn't raised in a stable home, you know, uh, like my story. I told him, I said, uh, man, my mom, just imagine being. A mom is through domestic violence and I and I was able to find myself through sports, like literally I played football because I knew that was the only way I was going to get my mom out the hood, which this is mm -hmm. what I thought. You get me? That's what we was taught. Yes, and yes, yes. So yes. then just imagine being a little small kid I'm, and your mom is getting beat up. Uh, your mm. sisters, your, your sisters and aunts are cute. What does a man do? 
So we don't know what to do but open the door. <laughs> right, right. Wow. But, People but start you, saying you're a strong black man. Yeah, yeah. So that's 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 what it is. And you know, the problem is is that we have a huge problem when strong black men have to be passive. You know, uh, and, and I wish my story would have been told. I've been in situations just three weeks ago. I'm in Miami. I had to help a sister out that was getting her butt beat in the, in the hotel room next to us. And guess what she did when I opened the door, kicked the door in, called security. Hmm. I could have caught a case. I could have been shot. So oh when God. I say passive, like how many times a black man want to step in, but don't. How many times we try to leave, but we're told we can't. You know, right. we we don't know what's going on as brothers. And so with my mission and my purpose and the only reason why I did the show is because I lost three clients to domestic violence, to murder. Search and seizure. We don't talk about that. You know, uh, my mom was uh, was abused. My grandfather abused my grandmother. Some of my uncles was players. So when a black man decided to put the put a get to put away all of the game because I'm a black man. We're probably one percent. One percent of black men. There's twelve percent of us in this in this nation or in America. Twelve percent when it comes to nationality. All right, you break half half women. You guys outweigh us. You guys it's about nine to twelve percent, nine to ten percent of women that are independent. They're jobs. All right. So, but when it comes to black men and the ones that can stand up and say, "Nah, this ain't cool," you know, my friends know me. They know I'm gonna call them out. Nah, this ain't cool. You know, I've never been in trouble for fighting on a woman. I never fought for a woman. In my mod voice, StreamYard will not let me be great. And he is breaking it down. Okay, guys. Let me know. There you go. He's coming back. The king is back. He is back. And I want to say this, you know, um, you know, uh, growing up, well, I'm a 1980s baby. I'm talking about 94. Remember what we was going through in 94? I'm 14. Think about what we saw. Right. So, so, so when it comes to the protection, shit, if you, I didn't have nobody to run to. I'm the oldest. Who I'm gonna run to? Like 50 say, I can't run to go get nobody. So when it comes to bossing up and manning up, it's taught. You know, crying. You cry on the football field. What happens? They tell you don't cry. Don't cry. It's a boy, the boys don't cry. You know, you, you know, and I'm gonna tell y'all this story. The first time I fought adversity, I was six years old. My big homie, one of the guys that was bigger than me, we went to the football field. It was the first time I've ever seen football. They have a drill called the skeleton drill, where he lays down on one side and the biggest person on the other side lay down. Hype. So my friend jumps up. He gets hit. The other team, the other guy ran through him. But remember, we clickish. His click doesn't embarrass our click. He bigger than me. I'm smaller. But guess what I got? Heart of a line. So I say, mm. put me back down. Now. Put me back down. I'm six. Mouthpiece all jacked up. Helmet too big. Down said hike. I jump, close my eyes, drop my neck. Pow. Mm. Not, I, concussion. But guess what oh. I heard? Mm. You got me? Yeah, I do. So that's the first time I knew that I could run and run through the ooze and the eyes. But when, right. I, when it comes to our community, so, so let's be 100. Let's be all the way 100. Who's protecting y'all? Who's standing up for y'all? And see, they showed the show. I wish they would have showed me in reverse because when I did watch the show, I seen the, the preacher, the pastor. The That's how these guys start off. So you got to check that shit at the door. One thing about dumb boy, I'm going to check that shit at the door. Not okay, speaking, one. Of, well, speaking yeah. of checking at the door, what was going on with the doggy bag situation? Hey, I said, first of all, hey, and then the I, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, sister. I grew up in a Muslim household. Okay. So let that, that set in. And, and any real dude to know, if you come to a man's house, either in jail, you don't bring no shoes in his house. So, mm. but these little homies don't get that though. And I can show you my house. My house, you know, I, if I club, if I scrub my flows and you coming in from outside, when I know I got shit in my driveway, right. you're right. I told him, I said, you've been walking through shit. I saw how you right. walked up. I got maneuver. Period. Period. So take your okay. shoes off. Now you okay. can edit and you can say it and you can make it dramatic, 
But don't ever mm. walk in my house with you. I'm a coach too. I'm a football coach. Think about it. Right. I'm in the little home. But again, the doggy bag too is you date my girl, you dating all of us. It is what it is. You this ain't no, this is, was not no, I'ma come in. He didn't meet my girl on the street. He didn't meet my girl in a normal casual situation. It's I got one goal. I'ma take your one. Nah, 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 nah. Ain't nobody ever took nothing from me in their lives. Period. So, period. And I, and I but I nah nah. Get out of here. So again, uh the show has its purposes, you know. Uh every show needs a villain. All right. Every every show needs a villain, but every show needs to show the man, a man, okay. because you know yeah. the, prayer. the prayer, the prayer, the prayer. Oh yeah, so, oh yeah, the prayer. Yeah, we got, we got, we got mixed mixed emotions on the panel. Uh, some of us thought, yeah. well, me if that was funny, we were kind of offended, saying he's yeah. prayer. It's like I, I'm like, like, look, okay, it's like, okay, you finna go over my people. I love mm -hmm. the Lord, but if anything happens, Lord, you know I'm gonna bust that a. You know? <laughs> no, no, no. Slow that prayer down. Slow that prayer down. <laughs> Because you know, just like this, just like this recording, we can turn it up and turn it down. So let me say it again. I said, "Thank you, King. I'm proud of you. You look good, but you taking out my queen. I didn't say my girlfriend. So I then I said, "Hey, I want you to know that these same hands that pray for you will mm -hmm. bless that ass. Because how many of these don't want you no more? They be in your DM. They be stalking you." They be talking about you. See, they didn't put that on the show. So I told them I'm true. The same hands that are bless you, bless that ass. And I keep it 100. Check that shit at the door. Period. I, I can't even. I mean, I don't phone. know what to say. So every every I mean, woman needs a dumb boy. I can't even. Every woman. So a woman needs a dumb boy. Dumb boy. You, you're, you're right. I am a father. My daughter is 15. She's watching that show. I am mm -hmm. a mom, which is my, my fiance's best friend. She watched the show. So yeah, I'm a father. I'm a brother. My nonprofits, my nonprofits protects women. So what else do y'all need? And then it's hard to date a black woman because mm. nobody is protecting our black women, and they got y'all thinking that y'all got to be the woman king. Get that out of here, man. No, no. I'm, I, I won't say. I won't. Okay, let me say this. I won't say that they got us thinking. If the circumstances are you put in that position, what are we to do but be the king? Kyle Dunbar. The Kyle Dunbar. Let me coach your kids up and get that shit together. But but put the it, thing about it's not a there's not a Dunbar in sight. All this. I mean, that's a beautiful thing in theory. Yeah. But in reality, there's more of women that are being a strong king and queen than less of Dunbar. You can't. I'm just being being real. I, I get what you're saying. I'm not sure about what you're saying. I'm just telling you the real. And who raises the son? When is the first time a boy is exposed to love, hatred from his mama? So if you want your son to be what that is, you teach him from the beginning. Because I'm telling you now, Atlanta, Georgia leads the country of the abduction of black and brown women. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about facts. How many times that we literally, and if you if you Google our dear Lenore, while we was while we was filming the show, my my girl gets a call saying that her cousin has been kidnapped and maybe murdered on a date in Georgia. This is true facts, y'all. This ain't no game. Y'all get me? I mean, Texas, it happens here too, baby. It happens in Texas too. You remember Deanna Cook, Christina, uh, Christina Morrison. Come yes. on, I, man. You Google. I was on those cases, so I'm not just playing when I say you gotta, you gotta, you cannot be passive. So if you don't have a Dunbar father checking it at the door, I guarantee you, when those guys go to jail, you can't walk in my house. You can't walk into no jail cell with no shoes on. You ain't walking in my stall with no shoes on. So I can tell these homies, but if you watch the other couples, couples, none against those other couples, you get married. See, I have, when, when you have a network and an influence like me and Chance does, it's time to show real love. It's time to settle down. You know, I got a, I, I, I got a $5 million network, not even playing football. So yes, I'm ready to settle down and I want somebody who understand. I played football, my feet hurt. I got injuries on my toes. 
When I say clean up, clean up your shit, not mine. I'm a clean guy. Clean up with after you when you worried about social media. I can't be cleaning up after you when I'm cooking all the food. What's the point of having you there if I'm doing it all? Okay. So so I get so that. that's I get real that. talk, man. You know, we we have to go back into that to that loving relationship and then communication. One thing you're gonna see is me and Chance. We communicate like nobody else, and she's gonna protect up from me because she know I, I don't put myself in a place to be loud and vulgar when a woman that verbal abuse. I'm not finna argue with Dr. Stacy. I got my queen to do that. Get a B. <laughs> Tell her that. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I do like that. <laughs> <laughs> because that's not, no, no, real talk. I, real you talk. know, old, old school, old fashioned. My parents. You know, my mother was the queen, my dad was the king, period. I'm, I'm just being honest. I was raised in the household like that. And so my dad was the king of everything we knew. But my mother, we also knew his daughter to be my sister as women. Then my mother was also the queen. They both ran the household. But, you know, my dad did certain things, like you said. Like, I mean, yeah. come pick us up from the date. My dad was standing behind us, big, tall black man. They was like, oh, you got a dad? Yes, I do. He wants yeah. to meet you first before we go. You know, so, I mean, when you talk, the way you're speaking, he's my man, plate. I, I I know it very well. I have no issue with it. I have no problem with any of that stuff. Not, not women do not. So this yeah. is what you're going to be displaying for the season. I'm here for it. You don't hear me cheer you on. I have no Thanks. issues with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't have no problem with a man letting women know what he wants. As long as she's independent, able to be and, independent. But at the same time, I don't have a problem with a woman taking care of a man. I've uh, never had an issue with that. Some women do, but more of the new millennium women, they don't really get it. It's just a uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with it because my dad, no, no, I, do. He fit, I, I would see him fit her. I saw both. I saw my mother take care of my father, and I I'm, I love that I grew up there, but I also saw my dad get up and do stuff and make take care of my mother as well. So, I, wow. that dynamic we don't see enough. I was very fortunate to have that experience. So, when I hear you speak, it sounds like that's the pathway that you're going, and, and I, yeah, I love yeah. it. I, yeah. I, I can't be honest, with you. I do. I love it. Yeah, your so I'm, and I'm August 15th, yeah. I'm real Leo. I'm August 15th. And if you know anything about a king, we sleep 80% of the time. Our women go hunt. We leave enough food for the hyenas, the monkeys, the gorillas, all the nymph poops. All of them can eat, but you're not going to eat my plate first. Mm. So when I say, when you are, if, my, if I'm so used to praying and having a blessed meal, because that could be your last meal with my woman, then she out on a date and she's coming home we don't know what's going on come on queen let's let's get back to peace because that brings peace my house is peaceful this world is crazy we have peace and the reason why it's peace is because i do everything that's needed to show this woman that i got your back don't worry about the social media don't worry about everybody we was in a room with 300 that's conference and 298 of them was single so how can somebody give you expert advice who ain't never seen stability? I, I, that's a bad coach, y'all. Oh, wow. I'm not trying to be funny, but that's not her fault either. How can somebody coach you to success and they ain't even been, they don't even know what a blessing look like? I, I, okay, okay. So if you are a doctor of this, yeah. if they have not had their own successes in this situation, you're saying, how can they talk about it? No, so you got to have two. You got to have a male and a female because it's two different uh, perspectives. We don't know what y'all want, just like y'all don't know what we want. For instance, I tell my wife every day, why do y'all wear shoes that hurt y'all feet? Because it's connected to your brain. Y'all look good for the next woman, but the man just say, take them shoes off or we can dance and chill a little bit. But y'all too, y'all worry about the wrong thing. So who you really date, me or your homegirl? Oh, wow. You coming with it today. Because it's the truth. And that's why they want me on that show. Because I speak straight facts. Now, again, when a guy come on your door and he talk about it, my day and you, and he's finna come take your prey, say, bro, I don't know where you from. I don't know. And if another guy come into your house and he say, that's my wife, and you don't even know me, that's, that shows you. Now, nah, you need to check that shit at the door. Be polite about it, but check it at the door. And if y'all can accept that as a culture, then we're going to fall as a nation. Mm. I mean, the thing about it, like I said, yeah. as long as the woman is allowed to be, um, she has to have her own independence. I don't have a she, problem with the man being taken care of or anything like that, but she's mm. not a child. 
she's still a no. grown woman of course would, no no i'm not saying that's what you're going i'm i'm just making that statement some men will take it to a point where like i'm the dad now the statement she made about the father comment um I, mm. i'm assuming she didn't like that too tight uh, said, well, no, no because else. because because the whole point of the show when i went i said i want a relationship with your father i don't have a father you know this is a true story y'all two years ago my father called me my stepfather the one that was abusive to my mom the one that i was angry at playing football i used to cry i think i was hitting him the whole but what i'm saying is this two years ago i called myself too busy because he called me on father's day and i was too busy because i got tired of him explain explaining to me man it's already over with now i'm 42 years old guess what happened to uh, the next day i didn't huh. pick up the phone he left me a message hey son i love you i'm sorry again i know you don't want me apologizing but i love you. he was crying the next day my stepfather fell off the truck and hit his head and died come on oh y'all so like wow. talk about that trauma so what i'm going with it is now is men step up get some help let's talk about this stuff because we man say if you're a masculine man in jail they're gonna find a way to rape you if you're a masculine man in this oh. world they're gonna find a way to they're gonna find a way to embarrass be, you be be careful saying the type of words on here they'll they, 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 they you should be okay. talking about that. well they, i do apologize i'm telling you, you facts. Good, you good. You straight good. facts call anybody it. that's in prison okay let's talk of america i, I, was, I was just saying he's an r I was okay i got your r okay I got you. r okay so the the mess the, the only way you could, could could dominate a community or a culture is to really lynch him and demasculate the king in front of the woman and that's the society we live in come on man but next question like i said i don't want to harp on it the show was beautiful i got no 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 myself. no yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. To, I'm happy. The thing about it, my, my yeah, show, I give a platform for cast members to speak beyond the show. And yeah, I love yeah. that you broke it down because the fact the narrative that most reality TV show is like uh, just kind of one side, one dynamic. And we don't get to hear that other side where like you put the puzzle piece together. You know what I'm saying? What's the beginning, maybe the end, not the middle. And so we don't know. So I love when you guys speak out and say, this is what it is. It's how I feel. And stand on that. I hate them but respect it. Okay. So well, my my question was: Did they did the show test your relationship or push boundaries that you weren't expecting to be? Like did, outside the show, did it push out in a negative way? Like you didn't like it or whatever? Well, well, you know, I think the stress it caused uh, for 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 us to try to act like we perfect. You know, uh, you know, I don't know no perfect people, and so um, we'll see, we'll see. You know, we'll see how the show goes uh i i wish i and dr dr stacy gives me a chance to counsel her i went to school for psychology you know I, I and i hope that i have a chance to counsel these other brothers man you know uh with their with their you know with their insecurities you know it's a hard pill to swallow when we don't have a brotherhood so if we want to make this show successful let's reach out to the to the wheel packers or the oprahs of the world you know oprah ain't been married y'all come on let's be 100 you know, so uh, they say the seed is only perfect. And so I think it's time for me and Chance to y'all really follow us and see what we do. We finna change the dynamic. We finna show you how you can be a man and a woman. You can love each other. You can fight each other. You can do whatever you want, but you gotta make it work if it's work if it's worth working. And if not, respect each other and walk away. Because mm -hmm. I guarantee you, it's a lot of women out there that'll do whatever I need. Come on, y'all. Let's be 400. And y'all, y'all, if let's do those numbers. How many? So as a man that ain't ain't got nothing wrong going, ain't got no bad credit, all right, ain't got no baby mamas, ain't ain't trying to run it through your pocket and live off for you. We're a dime a dozen. Yeah. This is true. This is not me. So, but, but when a man say I want you, only mm -hmm. you, and nothing but you, so help me God, it's a problem. What? Why? Why? Why you say it like that? What do you mean? Y'all like, tell me. Y'all tell me. I don't. I mean, no, I, you I, said. I, you know. You know. I don't know. I don't date. I've been with my woman for almost two years. I don't forgot. <laughs> I don't know what they go through. You get me? I don't even know what's going on in the world. You know what we do? We pray. We read. We talk about how we gonna uplift our community. No, I was just trying to understand what you said. I'm sorry. I know when we. I was just trying to. No, you. Oh, she's not Janiki. He's not. 
but I'm trying to understand what he said uh, about when you tell somebody, I want you and only you. Are you saying that woman has a problem yes. with it if a man is telling her, I only yeah. want you and nobody else? Okay. That's what yeah, I'm yeah. Talking about. yeah, yeah. I only want you. So what I mean by that is, it's easy for a man of melanated skin with a passport and got no bad credit with a work ethic. We can go anywhere in the world. They'll pay us to marry them. Think about it. But when we finally find that one woman, that's a black woman, a strong, independent woman who and want to show her what what it takes to make him feel important, just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. It's a problem. So understand the difference between being passive, being controlling, being protective, and then being submissive to our law. Chance loved me because of the love I got for God. I told her I'm not perfect, but that's the problem we have because no shows is how to stay with your woman. Dr. Dre just did a thing today. He said, man, I'm the happiest ever been. I'm 57 years old and I'm divorced. I'm happy. I don't want to be like that. I'm miserable without being with my woman. Why? Because I know how easy it is to get a whole bunch of them. Mm, that's true, T. That's true, T. Wow. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's, crazy. that's crazy, man. You be getting deep, man. Like, seriously. Yeah. Do you have any regrets at all doing the show? Do I do what? Say it again. Have any, have any regrets? Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't regret. I mean, uh, I want you guys to support us. Keep, keep talking about it. Watch the show. I don't have any regrets. I wish I could have just understood how to better communicate and articulate. You know, they say your, your brain, the smartest part is up here and it comes down there. So when they put you on the spot and ask, you know, just imagine 50 million questions in your face with the camera on you with no time to think. Yes, that's very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. But it, it, taught, it taught me a lot because it's preparing me for the next chapter in my life because I believe that my voice and my action and my resources, let me say it again, my resources that I found while off the show made me a better person. Does this mean that you have some more reality TV coming up in the future? I, well, you know what? My life is, what is the definition of reality TV? I don't know. I haven't even Googled it. I don't know. I think real TV. I think real changes. So if, if my real is a reality, then make them your circumstances. So I don't know how to do it. If somebody hits me up and it's worth it and it makes sense, then y'all hit me up because I don't, man, we're here talking about changing the game. Dumbboy loves chance. Y'all got to tell them. Dumbboy loves chance. Put that on the TV network. Here. See how we are. <laughs> Mary. Love that yeah. black love, 100%. Yeah. Yes, okay. So um, were you prepared or are you guys prepared? Um, I don't know if you're going to speak for her, but for yourself, but prepare for bloggers and fans who've been following the show for years because put a ring on it. Okay. But on the network, their fans are super heavy, heavy, heavy. You know what I'm saying? It's because like, okay. of a following. So are y'all prepared? Because they're going to have a lot of things to say. And, and then I will correct. They come with us too. Trust me. Bloggers, same thing. Bloggers are going to be reporting like we do. Uh, like you see, saw a podcast. They're going to be doing reports and same yeah. thing, videos for the whole season. It's only the first episode. So are you prepared for all of that? Well, uh, well, I think we have enough content out for that when they do blog and they do call us to the table, uh, they will be able to do that research. You know, we want we want bloggers and not gossipers. You know, Chance has over 100,000 people on her social media. I got a whole nother 12 or 20,000. We don't even, I don't even have to comment on my thing. What reached me out to Oh, is because I was finally on Twitter trying to figure this thing out and I saw six sisters and then one lady was eating and she said, well, yeah, there ain't no problem with it. So I just wanted to make sure y'all got y'all storyline right because, you know, uh, one thing about one thing about that Holly weird, <laughs> they'll pick you up and eat you out, you know, and uh, throw you out and spit you out. So, I mean, whatever, whatever's clever. Um, you know, <laughs> the one the one that was eating is my play cousin Stacy B. But the thing about I love that I about my panel. 
But my, she, she was actually she was a cast member. I have a cast member from the show, okay. Ready to Love. I have two. I like oh, to have okay. a dynamic. I've had this panel for years where we do this for years. We'll be covering the show. Um, mm. More than YouTubers have done before we started that as far as the own network and the panel. I have two different panels. And the thing I love about doing it, I have a cast member for almost every season come on and guest because you guys have been through it. So the yeah. blogger, I give my opinion, but I'd love to have somebody on the show that is a cast member that can give their insight about it because as bloggers, we don't know as fans. We don't know. So I have to have that different insight on my platform. So it's more than wow. just a blogger yeah. giving commentary about what I watch. So I, yeah. kind of, I think that's if I said was a different blogger. So yeah, you might see us give different opinions, but just understand it's just that we're giving opinions and you know, yeah. it is, we're all just different ones. So I'm happy you. you did reach out to me. But I was like, I don't know what he's gonna think. That's only, that's only a small percentage of what we're gonna do for us to see. I was like, yeah. he just don't know. we turn up. I ain't gonna front. We, we no, have fun. <laughs> we have a good no. deal. We and we and, and and but I can say this though. Okay. Uh, shout out to Dr. Stacy. I mean, I respect her as a sister doing her profession. Shout out to the staff, man. When I was going through that show, man, they, they saw me, they saw me looking at them crazy. They embraced me, man. Uh they wow. let me go through this journey. So no matter what, the the potential of a show like this could be beautiful as long as it's real, you know, as long as it's putting ourselves in a situation because just think about the stress or the financial burdens that can go on me if you guys are posting or saying that I'm blah 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 and people don't know right. and then come on you get me so it's important to know everything we say and do affects a person's financial and their mental stability you know you know so you know uh so you know and uh I mean you know on one episode don't may not be controlling the you that excuse us using this no it's fine you're fine sister no 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 like i said no excuses no no quick I'm, I'm i'm excited that's why we signed up for the show i'm not i'm not i'm a i'm a big boy <laughs> you know you're just fine i think you'll be i think you'll be just yeah, yeah, fine I'm good. yeah it'll be a lot of like i told you it'll be a lot of comments positive yeah, yeah. and negative we just take it just, yeah just you know keep because everybody gonna have their opinion about whatever and we haven't experienced it so i yeah. Opinion, but I also know at the same time I'm not in y'all's shoes. I say that disclaimer all the time. And I'm and I wanted to grow. I went to the show to figure it out. I could have been, I, I could have been, I was all characters of that show. I was the funny guy that's romantic, like Mark. I was the guy, uh, you know, the other guy like uh that that wanted to travel but don't want no more kids. You know, like it's it's that's the personalities we take on by our environment. But I know one thing that uh I gotta make, I gotta, I gotta make it work gotta make some work right gotta make some so, shake some shakes so some gotta shake because there's this 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 generational curse shit is out the door with me yes you do want that 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 wealth for the uh ones in the future so i love that i always um look at this process i'm doing now yeah. it's for my future not i don't want to be working yeah. I'm 50, 55 years old you know what i'm saying so i, yeah. I get that i'm yeah. planning it yet and all the things but uh man this was a uh a very insightful interview um Thank i you. love the way you break things down i love having these conversations with the brother like yourself the king like yourself so i hope that uh once the show is over and the reunion is done i can have you and the queen on here together and we really get some things where you won't be as well you you know we a little limit a little limited right now so yeah, yeah. I, I hope that you're able to come on with her or even still by yourself to come on because it's really going to be different uh once the show airs and y'all get to see what we see it's going to change again yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, baby. I do appreciate uh, everything that you said. This is everything. The people in the chat, the women are loving what you said, period. So, all right, guys. This is Commission Reviews. We had uh, the King Dunbar on here. Make sure y'all check out the panel. We'll be back on uh, every Saturday right after Ready to Love. We'll be talking about the show things and things again. Uh, this is Southern Queen saying she's out of here. The end. <laughs>